ultra-nationalists in Georgia are on the march. Nazi salutes were on the streets of Tbilisi in May, as far-right groups rallied to support a police crackdown on nightclubs, which they said harbored drug dealers and LGBT propaganda. A former government minister, Sandro Bregadze, is a leader of the country's biggest far-right group, Georgian March. Established in 2017, the group opposes immigration and lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender rights. Transparency International says the influence of far-right groups has dramatically increased in Georgia. In a report titled Anatomy of Georgian Neo-Nazism, Transparency International says individual leaders have a direct connection to the Russian government and local political organizations, and that the increase of neo-Nazi activities is within the interests of Russia. This is in the Russian interest uh, to increase uh, polarization among the people in Georgia, among the groups. They are using all measures, all resources to drive away our inspiration towards Western uh, European Union and, and NATO. And those people who are affiliated and linked and are leaders of the neo-Nazi groups are repeating the same messages. Georgian March, however, denies it is being financed by Russians. Another Georgian March leader says the group is defending traditional Georgian values. Far-right groups often support the Georgian Orthodox Church's stance on controversial social issues like opposition to same-sex marriage and protesting the decriminalization of marijuana. Most of Georgia's five million people consider themselves Orthodox Christians. One U.S. diplomat says friction between traditional Georgian culture and modern Western values has been exploited by Russia. The Orthodox Church, for example, has been a uh, pathway of uh, Russian uh, influence indirectly. Uh, I think the ability of the Western world to embrace those communities and to make it clearer that Western values and Western institutions are not antithetical to uh, traditional Georgian uh, beliefs is absolutely fundamental for winning this uh, contest long term. Transparency International says Georgian authorities were initially reluctant to crack down on far-right groups but have started taking action. An investigation is underway into the group The Guard of Georgia after its leader, Iosub Leleashvili, posted this anti-immigrant video. In early September, police arrested Georgi Chalidze, the head of the far-right group Georgian National Unity, for illegal arms possession. Transparency International has called on authorities to go further and develop a comprehensive strategy to counter the far right in the country. It has warned that ultranationalist groups are a threat to Georgian democracy.